you had a taste for music from a very young age. Um, apparently, you played truant in school quite often to go off to play music. Um, even quoted as saying, history and geography will not help my music. That's true. When did you know that music was it for you? When I was a kid. My mother, she was a Carnatic Indian singer. So when I used to sit and watch her on stage... So that's when I knew that I want to be something like her, musically. So that's when I started uh, taking up singing. Did you get formal lessons or...? No, no, no. For me, it's just like get all the neighbors together. We used to sing songs. Those days was most, mostly children's rhyme songs, mm-hmm. things like that. But we learn in school, you know, get together and we just sing. And that's how I started. Right. I mean, those days where we had music schools, none. Right. <laughs> none. <laughs> Let's talk about the Alley Cats. How did the Alley Cats begin? In a very humble way, I would say. Um, there was this friend of ours who, because I was with another band, and this friend, he was the manager of the other band. So the other guy, they are two partners. In fact, they sell motorbikes those days. So one had a band and was managing us. So his friend, he wanted a band. So I helped him to arrange the alley cats for him. So that uh, they, these two guys who sell motorbikes, they had this, uh, this car, a Mini Cooper. So mm-hmm. one side was my band's name. So the other side was the alley cats, because that's what that fellow wanted. Yeah. So that's how alley cats started. And this friend of mine, he named the group Elikets because why? Where we were staying was like all this heritage. Now they call it heritage houses. Mm-hmm. Where you had back lanes full of cats. So uh, he's named Elikets. And then he liked the name because why? There was uh, nine numerals. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he said the nine numerals are very lucky for... And he named that we name So when Elikets came up with ni- nine numerals, so it was like... For him, it was like, wow. You know? Right. So, and that one really helped us, like, where we are today. Now, Dato, you <laughs> and Logan's hair were probably the most iconic things <laughs> uh-huh. on the Malaysian musical stage um, in the 70s and 80s. How do you keep that going? <laughs> I still see you have the I, I know. I mean, same it, fluffy hair. It was just like a fluke thing, you know? Because we were entertaining all these American GIs from Vietnam at the time in the 70s. Then uh, then we see a lot of soul brothers, they call them. Mm -hmm. Soul brothers. (laughs) So we used used to have nice afros. I mean, we already had curly hair. So just left it just like that. Then suddenly it became a trademark. Right. So... We just left it. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see you still have it. Yeah. I mean, not that big, smaller. Bit. <laughs> yeah. So are, do you maintain your hair like, you know, pretty religiously? Uh, not religiously. Not. Uh, I mean, I just just leave it there. So it's there. I mean, okay. <laughs> people can recognize you from far away. Yeah. Hey, that's one cat coming. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> All right. So, Dato, what is your best memory of the Alley Cats? Best memories, I mean, very hard to say because there's too many. So you ask me the best, I cannot mm-hmm. give you the best. You have to tell me your best <laughs> memory. <laughs> For me, every day is, is memorable. What do you miss the most then about, you know, being in the heyday of the Alley Cats I mean, and right, performing? Right, right now, what I miss is my brother. Yes. Yeah. So, because uh, we used to do wonders together. Mm-hmm. I mean, teamwork. I mean, we knew each other th- that well that he knows when to come in. I know when to sing the part mm-hmm. when he goes missing and things like that. So, we understood each other a lot. So, that's what I miss now. So, what would your advice be to aspiring Malaysian musicians today? My saying is be humble 
honest, sincere, and love your music. Whatever it is, love your music. That way you can be successful. Yeah. Uh, if you if you take music seriously, you can be successful. If you take music seriously, yeah. That the. Why are you proud to be Malaysian? I love this country. I mean, it is nice. The people are very friendly, and you have so many choice of food, you know. And it's a very peaceful country. That's why I like proud to be Malaysian. <laughs>